Hi everyone. So now we'll talk about GSX with React Native. And yes, you heard right there. GSX is the powerhouse of React Native as well as React JS also because you can use GSX with React JS and React Native both. All right. JSX simply means JavaScript extension. And why I'm calling it the powerhouse of React Native because it allows us to write HTML with JavaScript together. All right. But before JSX, how we are writing uh, HTML and JavaScript? Actually, we need a script tag. So see, this is a simple code of uh, basic HTML and JavaScript, or you can see that a simple code of web page. There we have some elements. And if we want to write some JavaScript code there, then we have to use their script tag. But if we are using JSX, we don't need to write this script tag. And previously the issue is if we want to, put some data or if you want to get some uh, data from any UI element then we have to use something like this document dot get element by ID or get element by name or class or this thing right and it consumes lots of time if you are aware about uh, basic JavaScript basic HTML or about basic web development then uh, you probably know about this right so with JSX we can save lots of time how I'm just telling you like uh, you can directly write javascript and html together so here you can see that this is a tsx file or uh, maybe in your system there is a, a js file so there you can see that we have a class component we have the javascript and inside this we have the html uh, or you can say that ui element because if there is a web page then we can say that this is the html elements but we are using the react native so you can say that this is the basically ui elements all right or ui components okay so let's say uh, i have a variable let's say name and uh, there we have name like uh, peter right so previously if we want to just add this uh, name with the ui element then what we need to do there we have to just do like this document dot get element by name get element by id but now we don't need these things you can directly put there uh, let's say i'm just taking a text right and inside it just put their uh, curly braces and put their name and you can see that we can just uh, get the output there right so just add some style also there let me add some style font size let's say 40 right there we got peter even if if you have this name inside the, the component then this will still work fine so let me just put there bruce this is still working fine right if you have more than one name let's say i have a constant with age of 30 right then it will still work fine so let me take one more text there and let me put their age and let's see this is still working fine right if you have uh, if you just want to put some numeric uh, operation then that will still work so let's say i'm i just want to add 10 plus 10 and let's see the output is 20 if you want to divide it then still it will work fine all right even if you want to concat two string that, that is also possible so let's say i have a name and last name right let me take a let there bruce wayne let me correct the spelling also so now let's say if you want to concat both of things then still you can do that uh, simply you can put their name and then let's use plus plus and last name save it here you can see that if you want to put their space this is also possible there is another way also to write this you can just simply use uh, the two different uh, you can see that JSX tags and still this this is working fine all right and if you want to add some conditions uh, then uh, this is also possible for example you want to check the age if the person age is uh, more than 30 or less than 30 right so if on, on the behalf of that you want to print some text so you can simply say that uh, if age equal to 30 right then uh, you can print something let's say uh, your age is 30 
else you can put any other message like age is not matching or something right so now you can see that your age is 13 and if i'm just putting there let's say uh, 31 right and save it then you can say that age is not matching so with that way uh, you can simply condition all right so let's say you want to check there if age is less than 30 and greater than 30 then simply you can say that if age is less than 30 then you can say that you are under age under age all right else you can say that mm, uh, like you can say that you are eligible in the else condition right you are eligible save it and now you can see that age is 30 and then you are eligible so let's say age is 20 and you are trying to save you can see that uh, you can see that you are underage so with that way we can use html and javascript together with the help of jsx all right so interview question that can be asked like uh, how we can just put the conditions with the help of uh, jsx or the next thing they can ask like how we can put the uh, conditional elements with the help of jsx so uh, let me show you that thing also so let's say if you are just checking their age is less than uh, 30 right then you want to show uh, a text in the mm, you can see that uh, in red color right so i'm putting their condition else you want to show in the green color right so there you can put there you are underage directly there you can put and uh, you can add the color also let's say color is red right and if you are visible then you can simply put this text there and color could be let's say green save it and you can see that there you got the in red color so this is the way that how you can uh, render the uh, components also conditionally with the help of jsx so let's say if you are putting there 40 then it should be green like you are eligible right so that's all for this part if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment box and this is my patent number for donation and please guys don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you guys.